I've been using Tom Watson's grip tip and it stopped me slicing. So nice and simple, look what I've done with my grip there. I've just got a Sharpie and I've split it into two halves, okay? Right side, left side. And this is all gonna be based upon what you see. And you know what, if you've got a golf club to the side of you, just follow along. Now very often, sometimes people think they get their grip right, but actually, they don't, and then when you're striking the golf ball and got a consistent pattern either out to the right, which most of us are there, or way off to the left, this is probably one of the main reasons why. Okay, so let's just run through some bad, bad errors. So if you come over my shoulder here, this is from the player cam perspective, we'll just go left hand to start with, so your glove hand, so your right hand for a left hander. So you can see, I've got that line running through the golf club there, like splitting it into the right side, and the left side. When we've got this happening, our thumb sat on the left hand side of that golf club, we're more likely to have that face open at impact, create weaker impact factors. So when you're looking down towards the golf ball now and you can see this, this would be very, very open. Next up, and this is what I'd say where most people think they've got it right, their thumb directly on top of this line. Again, I'd see some patterns of shots way out to the right, especially with things like our driver, just because it's very, very hard for us to get that full control of that golf club. Now, with some of the elite players on tour right now, some of them actually do have a weak grip like John Ram, but we've got to base this on a general golfer that plays once or twice a week, people like me and you, who don't have the, let's say, the uh, amazing athleticism and ability of someone like John Ratt. Now listen closely, I'm gonna show you from this perspective and the player cam. I want your thumbs to go on the opposite sides of your golf club. Now, if you've got an old golf club just sat around in the garage or whatever, and you've got grips similar to mine and you can draw on it, just get it split into two. Honestly, it's the best thing you could do. So I want your thumb of your left hand to be touching that right hand side of the shaft. So just here, I mean, it's not all the way over, it's like, let's say on this, these two lines here on my golf club, okay? So just there. Now then look closely at this one, my right hand thumb wants to be touching the left hand side of my golf club. So this for you as a slicer is gonna look a lot stronger. Your thumb's gonna have gone from this side of the golf club to this side of the golf club. And this is gonna be a little bit more on top too. Look at that. That's exactly the touch points. Really, really nice and simple. Let's take one away with our iron, then I'll show you the touch points on the player cam perspective, because that's where I think you can really, really copy this. Okay, here we go. So with this grip, I should have a better chance of bringing that club face in square. Look at that shape. A little bit right to left, actually. Couldn't be any straighter. And again, look how little effort was in that. Look what club I got in my hand. And look at that distance as well. These are the things we're trying to do in our game. These are the things we want to have happen more often and more consistently. And I'd say using this grip tip is going to give you that consistency. Okay, come and look at this from the player cam perspective. Then we'll hit one way with driver. So really, really watch this. And this is probably the most important point. This is the bits where you've probably not seen before. So thumb on the left hand, touching the right hand side of this golf club. Thumb on the left, right hand, touching the left hand side of this golf club, just like that. And when I say thumb, I'm sort of my right hand thumb is touching this bit here. So this bit is touching the golf club. And then this bit, and in here, is touching the golf club. Really, really important. That allows us to have that sort of soft grip pressure, not a lot of sort of tension through the swing. That's it, one with driver. So here we go. How many of you would go out and play with that actually on your golf club? I don't know. If, I mean, you, I've seen those golf pros do those align grips. So there is ways in which you can use what's already on the golf club grip to help you. Just think about it. Nice and simple. Into and uh, get down in the comments. Would you use it? <laughs> So when you're looking down the golf club, I've got my drive in my hand here and there's no sort of gauge on this club of mine where you can see it split into two. All I'm concentrating on is those touch points of those thumbs, this thumb and this thumb to give me that grip. 
Left thumb, right half, right thumb, just touching left half. Nice drive, just a little bit down the right half, but a really nice hit. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We've got tips five times a week. That's just five minutes in length.